Let's get straight to the point. Today we're going to be talking about locating and sizing slotted features using GDMT. And I'm going to walk you through the pick three method. So what we have here is what you typically see on the face of the drawing. You have your top view, you have your front section view, you have the outline of your plate, you have your internal slotted features. Now number one, pick your datums. Your datums are your starting point that you specify the machinist. They should start at these features or surfaces and then move outwards to begin locating the slotted features. Now for our first datum A, it shows the bottom flat surface of the plate right here. By doing this, I'm telling the machinist, I don't want the slot side walls here and here, all the way around the slot, to be perpendicular to that bottom flat surface. Now for my second datum B, I actually want the machinist to use the center plane of this part and then move outwards to begin locating these slotted features. To do this, I simply attach the datum symbol directly in line with this overall width dimension that's associated with that center plane. So the machinist should probe the part, find the center plane, and then move outwards to begin locating those slotted features. Now for my third datum C, I chose the front or bottom surface of this plate right here. Just telling the machinist to start here and then move upwards to finish locating those slotted features. Now number two, you're going to want to pick your dimensions. In this particular example, for our slotted features, we actually have two different types of dimensions. We have size dimensions, which are the traditional plus or minus type of dimensioning. Then we have location dimensions, which are our G and T style dimensions. We drop our tolerance, and then we box our dimension. Now in this, this example, I have one, two, three size dimensions, and I have one, two location dimensions. Now number three, you're going to pick your tolerance. For slotted features like this, you want to use a positional tolerance, which I indicate using this symbol here. The other thing you want to do is you want to use this boundary term and place it directly underneath your GDMT symbol. Now I've already chosen for you and placed the two GDMT symbols that you'll need, one underneath the width and one underneath the height of your slotted feature. You'll notice I've given the overall height more positional tolerance than I've given the overall width. And that's simply because you get more allowable air in the overall height of the slot than you do the width of the slot. Now let me quickly explain these boundary terms and how to use GDMT in this situation. What you're doing is you're simply creating an internal boundary area that has the same shape as your slotted feature that when these slots are machined, the sidewall of these slots cannot invade or violate that internal boundary area. Now the size of this internal boundary area can be quickly calculated using this method. You're going to want to take the smallest overall height and subtract the positional tolerance. So I have 3 inches, subtract 10 thousandths to get the smallest overall height, and then subtract your positional tolerance of 28 thousandths, and that gets you 2.972. Do the same thing for your overall width. 1 inches minus 10 thousandths minus 14 thousandths, which gets you 0.986. And that's the size of that internal boundary area that cannot be violated when that slot is being machined. And that's straight to the point.